Good morning, you guys. Happy Saturday. It is Saturday morning, and uh, Prince Mighty and I have been up for a bit now, and today is closet cleaning day. So last year, last September, I did the exact same thing around Labor Day weekend. I do this every year, and this year I'm going to bring you along. I'm going to clean out both my clothing closet as well as my shoe closet, and I'm even going to try to make headway and clean out my storage closet, which is in the closet in my office. So I'm just kind of bumming it, no makeup. I did give myself a facial today, so you can probably see my skin is very clear, clean, purified. I use the charcoal mask, but I'm going to take you inside the closet and we're doing everything, clothing, handbags, t-shirts. If I have not worn it in this last season or year, if I haven't worn it in this last year, it's actually going to go. So let me show you what my clothing closet looks like right now. Okay guys, this is what my clothing closet looks like. It's actually not that big compared to I think what people expect, but these are my clothes. I have my tops here. They are arranged by short, um, sleeveless, short sleeves, and then these are all the long sleeve tops right there. Then these are all of my jackets, cardigans, um, blazers down here. These are all the dresses. They are coordinated. The left, is, these are jumpsuits and maxi dresses. And then we have dresses I will not wear to the office. And then around here starts this white dresser, um, dresses I wear in the office. And so they go here. And they're color coordinated, both sections. So dresses I won't wear in the office, dresses I will wear in the office. These are my pants, my trousers. These are rompers, shorts, skirts. And then in the back here, this is where I keep extra hangers. And then all my denim is folded there. I have bins for my t-shirts. So these are t-shirts with logos or writings. These are tank tops. And then these are just plain tees. And I have these bins. This is for bras, panties, socks. So this is how my closet is arranged. At the top, I keep all the handbags. That is a hat box there. And then these are crossbodies. These are kind of totes. These are larger purses, and then these are some more crossbodies. Or, no, these are shoulder bags. And then another hat box. This is where I keep all my clutches in this little tray. I think it's supposed to be a, a letter tray or paper tray. And then the rest of my handbags. So these are all the handbags. And this is what my closet looks like. Let's go to the shoe closet now. Oh, I forgot. This is where I keep my belts <laughs> in this thing right here. Scarves, sleep clothes. I have this plastic bin that I keep my workout clothes and stuff in there. And then down here is where I keep boxes for my handbags that are out. And in these plastic bins is where I keep my sweaters. I live in Houston, so I don't need to keep those sweaters out all year. I only pull that out as necessary. Okay, now let's go look at the shoes. More handbags. <laughs> this is my shoe closet. Um, I will link the video from last year so you can see how I ended up with these. I bought a lot of shoes in the past year though because I gave away so many last year. These are all boxes, so there's nothing, there are no shoes actually up here. But I will show you, this is where I keep all of my flats. I don't have as many flats, so this is all of them. This is where I keep all my sneakers to the left right here. These clear shoe boxes came from the container store. Um, this rack is for heels. They are to be color coordinated and they are also split by shoes that I would wear in the office and then shoes that I would not wear in the office. Um, these are wedges over here and then at the bottom are all sandals and slides. 
up top. These are all boots. I was going to do a luxury shoe video. Um, let me know in the comments if you'd be interested in that and just how I choose them, how I find them on sale, and which ones I think are actually great brands um, that are very high quality and not just um, trying to lend on their brand name. But these are all my luxury shoes because I was thinking of doing that video. And I got to put these up. So these are all my shoes. This is where I keep shoe bags and leather cleaners and all of this. And then this is where I keep my dirty laundry here because this is my bathroom that we're in. So this is my shoe closet. Gotta clean this out. This is also where I hang the jewelry. Um, and this is what my shoe closet looks like. Definitely... Um, trying to get rid of some of these just gonna be honest so let's get started I will now show you what the after looks like and I'll tell you how long it took me to get to the after as well these are some pants I'm on the fence about I haven't worn them in the last year I actually don't think I've had the opportunity to but I do still like them I know they're like a funky print here but I would wear these out at night with an open toe I just have these pumps on to see how long they were I took these to Nordstrom and got them hemmed um I would need a black bodysuit for this though so on my list I'm going to the mall tomorrow I'll probably look for a black bodysuit or look for one online um, these are Kenneth Cole pants, wide leg, and uh, I think they look okay, but you guys let me know what you think. I'm still going. Okay, guys, so this is another one of my items, clothing items, where I'm on the cusp, on the fence about it. This is my favorite black dress that I have in my work wardrobe. I think it snatches the body right it came from ann taylor which is one of my favorite stores to shop for so this is a dress you can wear a couple ways when i wear it this way and i'm going to try to show you there are buttons right here yeah so this can come undone and then there's a button here my breasts are so heavy that it always makes it see it just popped this button always comes undone and then this starts sagging and you see from the side mama's girls can start popping out so what I normally do is wear it like this okay yeah like this now my boobs are out so then I have to put one of those um, camisoles underneath but I'm on the cusp because I feel like I'm tolerating the dress and it does make me look nice. You know, it's a nice faux wrap. Um, I, I love the length. It's the perfect length. I normally wear it just with black heels like I'm wearing now. But let me know what you guys think of this one. I actually just might keep it until I find a better option. I don't know. You guys let me know. Should I keep it or not? Nah? So this is another one of my favorite items I'm going to have to get rid of because as you can see, it's not, it's too tight on these hips right here and uh, it's not fitting correctly. And so we're going to have a moment of fashion silence for this little number. I think this is Calvin Klein I got from the outlets one year here in Houston. I love this little snakeskin silk dress. I have worn it many, many places, but right now, these hips right here won't let me be great. Deuces to the dress. Okay, you guys, I am finished with my clothes. It has taken me a couple hours, but this is what the finished product looks like. Everything has been tried on, reviewed, um, thoroughly looked at, hung. I mean, I have... Look, looked at every single piece. I've reorganized. 
um, and this is what I'm left with. So it may still, oops, my hair got <laughs> stuck on a hanger, but it may look like I didn't take anything out. Let me know if you all can tell a difference, but I surely can because these are all of the hangers for all the things that I took out. And this is the proof, including handbags. These are the handbags that didn't make it. I'm probably going to just give them away or take them or put them on Poshmark. In terms of the clothing, if it's business clothing like this, I'm going to take to Dress for Success today because I live in the same area as Dress for Success Houston. And then if there are items like these that are still good but they're not business attire i'm going to take to my church we have a resale shop where we sell clothing for about 50 cents or a dollar two dollars to the community so that they get to shop for like new items and so this is what i'm going to do with the clothing that i'm giving away today now comes shoes i love it when my closet looks this good you guys because honestly i don't have a big space like this is it i don't have a big closet but um the shoes should not take this long because i did a good purge last year and i kind of already know you know you know if you're not wearing the shoes or not so let me get to it it's already been two hours all right, guys, I am finally finished with this closet clean out. So these are now all empty boxes. So I got to figure out what to do with the empty boxes. Boxes, But this is where my sneakers, these are my Nike Air Max right here. Plus, this is a pair of Nike Air Max. And then these are casual sneakers. They, they are similar to Converse, but they're by Coach. These are Converse, similar to Converse, but they're leather. Converse, these are some Michael Kors and some Pre-Torns. These are miscellaneous, like Jordans, Hirachis, and a pair of Adidas. But other than this one pair of Adidas, all my sneakers are Nike, mainly Nike Air Max because I just like them. Um, did not touch the flats at all. But I went through this entire rack, and this is what I'm keeping. I am very pleased with my shoe collection at the moment. Although, based on the fall, there may be some holes. Um, and then, these are just the ones that I kept out that I like to see. These I haven't even worn yet. I bought them for my birthday. And these are some of my faves. I want another pair of Malone Soliers for the fall. FYI. Now, since fall is almost upon us, maybe in Houston in a few weeks, I brought down my short boots since now I had space. I brought down these short boots as well. And then the next row starts with wedges. Wedges continue here and here. And then we have some short boots again. These three pair right there. And then the slide stayed at the bottom. So let me show you actually what that looks like. These are the shoes that were removed. Not as bad as last year, but given that I gave out like 30 pair last year, I really have not worn these shoes since last year. Um, and most of them do to fit. You can say these are due to fit. These are due to fit. These are due to fit. To fit. To fit. So closet clean out is finished. These are all gone. My closet clean out day. It's like 4 o'clock in the afternoon. But this is my storage closet it's the one in my office this is the after i couldn't even get in here or barely open the door to show you a before but just know that i could not oh here's my other cell phone i could not walk in here now one of the culprits was because all of last year's closet clean out clothes were in this closet i did not take them out of the house but that is not what we're doing this year. All these clothes are going to go. I'm going to hang them up and put them on this rack. 
Um, I got my hangers ready. Um, I'm going to hang the other ones up. I've already dropped the shoes off. And I'm going to be getting rid of these this week. This week, these clothes will be gone by next Sunday. Next Sunday, they have to be gone. That's all I'm going to say. So this is my day of closet cleanouts. Oh, now I can actually put my I can actually put my vacuum cleaner in here. It's been behind this door forever. I know it's so bad, but it's the truth. I show you guys the truth. I was supposed to do an empties video months ago. I didn't even I couldn't even get to my empties because they were all the way in the back of the closet. So I'm gonna take these out now. And expect an empties video soon. That's all I can say. Look, I started a new one. And yeah, I have a lot of stuff. I got a lot of stuff going on. But you know what? I need it this day. And that's all that matters. And I can walk into all of my closets. And I'm happy. Closet clean out 2018 has been a great success. So I've actually hung up all the clothes that I am donating giving away and i kid you not this looks like a full wardrobe like this could be someone's full wardrobe um i'm giving away this romper i bought it two summers ago and this summer it was barely hugging the butt cheek so two years of wear um i'm gonna give it away i like to keep my clothing longer than that but it just didn't happen i never got to wear these pants i bought them off poshmark they're one of my favorite brands from nordstrom truve i got a size 10 but they are actually skinny and i don't like the fit they're a little tight so i dry cleaned them never wore them my favorite zara blazer um, I can't button this button. It has to go. Lots of other nice things. One of my favorite sweaters from Anthropology. I'm just not wearing it. So, um, one of my favorite rompers from Loft here. Lots of good things. So, I don't know. I guess I'm going to take these to be donated to my church so people can shop from them. I really hope they go to a really good home and someone who's really in need. Um, because that's my desire when I donate the clothes that they're being used because I used to be that kid growing up who got clothes that were someone's hand-me-downs and if they were in really good condition my mother would clean them up and press them and they would be just like new and so I'm always a giver I always tell you guys you got to be blessed to be a blessing and that's what I mean you know I'm not I hope this isn't going into some landfill or something I always try to strategically find out how to donate my clothing now these came from last year so just multiply this rack this amount of clothing by two and that's basically how much I really have to donate because these came from last year and I never got rid of them. I don't have any more hanging space for that. So I'm just going to put it, put it in this um, comforter. What, it, what do you call this? Bin or whatever. Bag, comforter bag. With all these t-shirts that I don't want. And then um, I'm going to fold them up. Put it in here. And get these out of here. I even have my dry cleaning in the car and I didn't bring it in the house because I didn't know where I was going to put it. But with that being said, be blessed to be a blessing. I hope this motivates you to clean out your own closet, to donate to worthy causes, give to dress for success, find a resale shop that gives to poverty, find a charity that's really going to give to families in need. I hope someone is really encouraged by this. See you guys later. Bye.